I don't need anybody's validation. 2024 is going to be my year. I feel it. Just got home from a impromptu Trader Joe's run. We took advantage and I got a couple things. So I went on TikTok before I got there because I was like, let me just see what TikTok is saying because I know all the girlies on TikTok have really good ideas for things that are actually good from Trader Joe's because one thing I don't like is going, spending money on something and then it's just not good, you know? So if I could get somebody's recommendation, I always love watching those kinds of videos. Yeah, enough talking. Let me show you guys what I got. Okay, there was a nice little man giving samples and I was seeing these and I was like, mm, would I like them, would I like them, would I like them and I wasn't sure. But then I ran into this little man giving samples and he was giving samples of this butter toffee pretzels. And I was like, that's perfect because I was eyeing the bag but I wasn't sure it would be good so I wasn't gonna get it until I had the sample and I was like, oh my God, those are so good. I am a toffee head. I love Heath bars, I love toffee on its own, I love toffee with chocolate. I love a toffee moment. I got two bags because I'm extra. I'm like, wow, those are so good. I'm going to grab two bags. So I got two of those. Let me put the camera down because I'm not going to do this holding the camera. Up like this. Organic roasted seaweed with sea salt. Six packages of seaweed. I want to have these with maybe like some yummy tuna. I don't know, like preps tuna, how I make it with like mayo and stuff and maybe a little bit of cucumber and just like use the seaweed and like dip it into the tuna. I feel like that would be a really... I used to do that before, but not with these things. I used to do it with pita crackers. I used to do tuna, mayo, um, some pieces of cucumber, like the little English cucumber or the, um, the Persian cucumbers. And then I used to take um, some sriracha to give it like a little bit of spice. And I used to take like pita crackers. But these are going to be a lot better because one whole package of this has only 30 calories. So they're not as carby as pita crackers. These, which I think my daughter is going to love. Audrey, look what I got. These are little uh, merengues. So I've never tried the Trader Joe's ones. I think they'll be good though. This is a TikTok find right here. This crunchy chili onion and olive oil with garlic and peppers looks really good to just throw over anything really so this was a tiktok made me buy for sure these were my daughter's request some mozzarella sticks she loves the trader joe's mozzarella sticks so got two of those for her another tiktok made me buy it the ricotta and spinach filled ravioli with tomato basil sauce that just seems like a really quick and easy lunch or dinner like whenever i'm feeling lazy just pop this out and just throw some sauce over it with maybe like a side of chicken or something love me a good ravioli then i got the classic mandarin orange chicken i've actually never had these you guys i've never had these but i know they're super popular i actually didn't buy any of the vegetable the vegetable rice because i already have like two bags in the freezer for my last trader joe's run so i didn't need to buy that but that's something that I always get at Trader Joe's. Uh, let me let me actually show you guys one. The vegetable fried rice. I have two of these bags in the freezer already, so I didn't buy them today. But this is such good, good, good rice. And I'm like a stickler for rice and just like I don't like when it's too mushy and I also don't like when it's too grainy. I like when it's fluffy. And this is a really good texture, especially for it being a bagged rice. So good. Their TikTok find. This is the cheese filled uh feel chitty, feel chetty with pink sauce another pasta pasta pouches filled with ricotta um and mozzarella cheese is accompanied by rich creamy tomato based sauce tiktok said this was good and i wasn't about to argue with tiktok then again another tiktok find um rice cauliflower stir fry with green peas red peppers grilled grilled corn tamari spring onions sesame oil and ginger Again, whenever I need like a little side because I tend to be the person that like will make the meat but sometimes I'll get a little lazy for a side and I'll just always make rice and I just won't think of something else so this is gonna come in handy so I got these organic sweet Italian chicken sausages for me to like maybe chop them up put them in some eggs or just like I don't know if they actually look good with eggs because they're Italian sausages but whatever we'll figure it out I always try to get a bag of these whenever I go to Trader Joe's the sweet potato fries so good little 
non dairy oat frozen dessert in the vanilla bean flavor. So it's fully dairy free, soy free. Um, my baby does have a dairy and a soy allergy. So I got this more for me, but like I always feel so bad whenever I'm having ice cream because she can't have any because she has the dairy allergy. So because this is dairy free, soy free, I'm like, let me just give it a try and see if I like it. And if she's ever looking at me eating some, I won't feel bad giving some to her because it is in compliance with her allergies. Today is a rainy Sunday, as you can tell. Oh my God, my arm hurts. I'm vlogging on my phone because I didn't plan to vlog this morning and I only have my um, phone on me. I don't have my camera. So I'm outside of Aldi. The last time I vlogged and I showed you guys what I got from Aldi, you guys seem to really like that vlog. I'm going to do another quick like Aldi shop with me replenish restock on a few things and if you know me you know i love aldi i don't play no games when it comes to aldi aldi is definitely a tried and true in my grocery shopping routine so i'm gonna get my ass inside of aldi's on this rainy sunday and we are gonna get some things in there i just want to know when i'm finally gonna remember to bring my reusable bags because mandarins are on sale this week for 2.99 so i'm gonna grab some of these season has just taken me and dragged my ass completely today is December 30th and I'm actually just running some essential errands I'm not really doing any shopping I've just been forgetting to pick up the camera I think the last time I vlogged I was I don't even know what I was doing to be honest with you. I just know that I've done a lot of grocery shopping in this vlog but it's been very it hasn't all been done like in one sitting like the grocery shopping that I did it was like the very beginning of December <coughs> went to Trader Joe's and then in the middle of December I was in Aldi's and I recorded that too and then I think I might have some clips from when I was recording like the grocery shopping I did right before Christmas so like everything was really spread out it just felt like all I did was grocery shop in the vlog because that's all I happened to be recording this month so this is very much like a catch-all vlog whatever I have on my SD card that's what I'm uploading I'm gonna probably wrap it with today's footage because I just I'm running around I'm getting some stuff done just doing essential things I have to go to the bank today because the bank's gonna be closed for the next few days with the holiday I have to go to UPS to drop off some Amazon stuff I have I just popped into the Dollar Tree because there's one in the plaza where the bank is and I just went in to get like the little trinkets for our um, New Year's because tomorrow's New Year's Eve and um, I'm not doing anything I'm just gonna stay home or we're just gonna get some Chinese food really really low-key but I still want to have like the little oh, happy New Year what do you call it those things um, the confetti these little shits these things so I just popped into the Dollar Tree and grabbed a pack of these and some little balloons for the new year and really that's it all right this vlog is probably so boring but it is what it is it is what it is i'm trying to tell myself that at the end of the day even if it feels boring it doesn't matter because i'm always watching my favorite vloggers and they vlog the most mundane basic everyday things and i'm just always so there for it because at the end of the day it's not really what they're doing it's just the fact that you know you get to watch something while you're washing dishes or cooking or just like you you're doing your nails or whatever like it's just nice to have something on and you know just you know support someone so that's always how I look at it so I'm trying to always tell myself if my tribe and my people enjoy me and they enjoy my vlogs they're just gonna like anything that I post and that's just what it is because that's what a true supporter is but at the same time I still feel the need to apologize because this vlog has been very much like all over the place but we are gonna get it all the way together because the new year is coming and I'm really excited about that 
I don't know about you guys, but New Year's Eve is my favorite holiday. Like, of all of the holidays, New Year's Eve is it for me. It's really it because it's such a reflective time. It's like a really big moment of reflection and just like, wow, the year is over. This is what I did. Like, wow, this is all that happened this year. And it's just, it puts so many things into perspective. It's such an emotional time. And I just love New Year's Eve. And I just also feel like it's the most low maintenance one. Like, you don't have to worry about doing all this cooking and all. I mean, if you do cook, that's fine. But, like, I'm not cooking. We're going to get Chinese food tomorrow. I know a lot of people do that. Um, we don't have to exchange gifts and, like, deal with the Christmas shopping and the stressful. And, oh, my God, are they going to like this gift? Is it going to fit them? Is it going to, like, you, like, it's just it's just you get to just sit and watch like the ball drop and watch all the performances and just like I always like to like take that time and write down some of my like just surface goals that I would love to accomplish in the next year um, I want to take that an extra step this year and actually plan for those goals because I always feel like I create goals for myself for the upcoming year on New Year's Eve but I don't ever have a like concrete plan for how I'm going to achieve those goals but this year I really want to switch it up I think 2024 is going to be such a transformative year for me because for the first time in my life, I feel like I finally know what I want. I finally know exactly who I am and I don't need anybody's validation. And I think for so many years, I always felt like I needed people to validate me, to make me feel like I was doing the right thing. And it's just like, no, now I know that I don't need anybody but myself and God. And finally at a point in my life where I can be like, okay, wait, this is exactly what I want. My vision is clear. I just have to work. I know what I have to do. I'm just going to do it now. And I'm excited. I'm excited for 2024. Not only that, but 2024, I turned 30. Excited for my 30s. My 20s has been such a, like, a... I don't know. I don't even know what to call my 20s. My 20s have been a time, girl. But I'm excited to enter and welcome my 30s with really open arms. Just stepping into this era of my life. Knowing exactly who I am. Exactly what I want. And just knowing that I gotta work. I don't know if I'm gonna vlog tomorrow. You know what I should do? I should actually call the Chinese place because last year when I called them on New Year's Eve, because last year on New Year's Eve I called them so much on New Year's Eve morning to see if I could put an order in for that night, and it was like a nightmare to get a hold of these people. So I feel like I should probably call them now because it's the whole day before, and hopefully see if I can get an order in. And if I can't, what's the best time to call tomorrow to put an order in? Or should I just go there and put an order in? Like, I don't know. We have this spot, this Chinese spot that like nothing beats it. It's top tier. It is so good. And I just don't want to play with any other Chinese places. I, I get it from the same spot. I don't need to fix anything that ain't broken. So let me call these people and see if I can put an order in. Hi, I'm calling because um, I'm looking to place an order for tomorrow. But I don't know. Should I place it today or should I call tomorrow? If you have the order, uh, I would say uh, call it in tonight if you have the order. Okay. Remember last year you guys had a specific menu? Yes, yeah, same thing. What is the menu, just so I know? Uh, so there's no mehu pliers, no soups, no mushi dishes, uh -huh. no house specialties, no white rice, no combo plates. Okay. So it's basically like the, uh, the entrees and the appetizers, um, but everything has to be large. And so we are still doing the uh, party trays and the food platters. So I can call it in tonight? Perfect. I'll do that. Thank you so much. Okay. You're very Bye. Bye. I get home, I'm going to look at their menu. Just um, figure out exactly what we want. And I'm going to call it in tonight so I don't have to deal with that stress. left UPS and then right next door there's a Sally so I popped in because one of my goals for 2024 is to take better care of my hair I noticed myself I used to be so good with my hair like weekly deep conditioners like my, I was just so on top of just my hair health after I transitioned it from being like completely fried and like heat damage and all that but I noticed that this year specifically I fell off and I think it's because I just had so much going on with the new baby and with everything and my new routine that that my hair just really just took a back seat girl so I really need to fix it Cause look at these ends look at these ends girl they are just atrocious 
I know my ends are bad, but like they're even worse right now because it's raining and my hair is really frizzy. Anyways, girl, I'm giving you this big spiel because all I'm trying to say is I need to do better with my hair this year. That is going to be one of my goals. Like podium when you walk in because they have buy one, get one 50% off off this brand called Sauce Beauty. Never heard of it. Never heard of it. I think it's a Sally's exclusive. So I just stood there, honestly, like going on my phone because I started looking up like reviews online of what people are saying and they have five stars, these products. So I think they're good. So very promising. Um, they had a bigger one, but I got these little ones because I wanted to see if I like them. And if I like it, I'll go back for the big one. Boss Beauty Deep Moisture Hair Mask. The guacamole whip it has avocado argan oil and manoi oil free of sulfates and parabens i always look for that in all my hair products and they were buy one get one 50 percent off so yeah we'll also buy sauce beauty this is a smoothing curl hair mask they had a big one of this but i got the little one because i wanted to try it out first this has honey shea butter and chia again free of sulfates parabens and silicones this is a honey chia I know honey is really, really good. It's a humectant. Great to like reduce frizz and store moisture, especially in curly hair. And guys, when I went to check out, I almost died. So if you don't know this about me, I'm a crazy cat lady. You guys know I have a cat at home, Sushi. He's my son and I can't nobody tell me otherwise. I birthed him. Yes, I did. Thank you so much. And I love cats. And every time I see any little cat thing, I just love it. And I think my sister-in-law made me this way because she always gets me little cat things and I just think they're so cute. Little cat notebooks, little cat pens, little cat trinkets and it just, it makes me so happy. So anyways, when I go to check out at Sally's, <gasps> look what I saw. Oh my God, I'm dying. Look how cute. Is this not the cutest thing in the world? And they had little dogs too. These are tweezers and they were only $1.50 and I was like, <gasps> oh my God. And I got every single cat that they had. I saw four, so actually i saw three but then the girl was like oh my god wait we have a black one and i'm like get it for me and she looked around the whole store to get it and yeah she's like and she said something that was just so important she's like you know what if they make you happy just get them she goes they're just these little things and if they just bring you a little bit of joy just get the little cat tweezers and i'm like girl because i was second guessing i was like i don't need four cat tweezers and she was like girl do they make you happy and i'm like yes and she's like then you need them and i'm like girl you right so let me get all of them run it up we love our kitties around here anyways that's it let me take my ass home it is raining and we got to go it is hold on today is sunday Happy New Year's Eve. You hear the baby crying in the background? She's going nuts. And it's because I'm not carrying her. I put her in the playpen. Getting ready to go to church. Just figuring out what I want to spray. I have this little sample here of Kayali in Eden. Juicy apple. It's very fruity. But it's not the vibe I want right now. I also have the full Kayali Vanilla 28. I haven't used this one very much. It's pretty much so full. Let me try it out. Getting ready to go to church. I'm going to mix that one. I'm going to mix that one with Chloe Nomad, which is um, clearly a favorite of mine. Mm, those two together. Oh, okay. Mm. I can already tell those two together are good. And the church starts at 10.15 and it's already 10. And I haven't left my house yet. Typical me. One of my New Year's resolutions is to do better with my time. Even though I don't think it's actually going to work out. But another one of my goals. Let me get some light in here. Another one of my goals is to actually wear my clothes. But I guess one out of two isn't bad. Because I am wearing my clothes. But I don't think I'll be on time. For church, I'm wearing this pleated shirt. This is part of a set, but I don't want to wear the pants. Um, I went ahead and I tucked it in. I'm wearing that with some jeans and my little bare paw shorties, which are very much a dupes for half the price. I got these for Christmas. Mommy and Anne's got them for me. Why are you crying? <laughs> it is so deceiving outside because it is so sunny and pretty and like the skies are clear, but it is so freaking cold today. I just left Target. I have had a very productive Sunday so far. My lips are so dry right now. Do I have any chapstick available? Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Oh, shoot. That would happen right now. Of course. Of course. It could. I just left Target. Why do I feel like this view right here is giving Senora vibes? 
it's giving old church lady vibes <laughs> with the pleated collar shirt the coat the hair pulled back it's giving very much i'm in my mid 50s and i'm a holy woman listen i am a holy woman okay but um we, we, we still like to show a little skin okay i'm a, a modern holy woman of course we have to put the other button up because we ain't gonna be showing no titty in the house of god not today myself a duckins because getting a caffeine headache because I left the house this morning without having any caffeine I actually want to fix my mornings and I would like to start implementing like a tea like a nice natural tea first thing in the morning I'm telling myself in 2024 everybody I say this every year and I know we all do 2024 is going to be my year I feel it I just feel it deep in my core you guys we're gonna circle back at the end of 2024 to see if it really was my year however I'm claiming it I'm manifesting it I'm putting everything into practice so that 2024 can be a beautiful year for me. Anyways, I got a couple things from Target, a couple things that I needed, a couple things that I didn't need, but I got anyways. And the streets are very packed right now, which is very annoying, but it makes sense. Yeah, it's New Year's Eve. Everybody's getting what they need for tonight. All right, so I'm home now from the streets because why not? A fifth grocery haul won't hurt. How many, how many grocery hauls have I done? I feel like I've done... I did the Trader Joe's one. I did the Aldi one. I did, I, I don't know if I'm gonna put it in this video, but I did go to Market Basket and I did record it. I just don't know if I'm gonna put it up here. But that was another grocery run. This would have been the fourth one. Fourth one, so I don't know. That just goes to show how much the grocery stores is taking my money. I get, I got some Tocitos because I'm thinking I'm gonna make a little spinach and other cake gift. Just, you know, just have as a little snack because we're going to get Chinese food. But then, you know, I'm like, let me just have something else that we could just like snack on. This I'm really excited for. This is a yogi tea and the peach bergamot. Right day supports positive mood. So this is what I was telling you guys in the car. I'm thinking I kind of want to start my day with these teas. Like really nice. They're herbal. They're smooth. They're soft. They don't have much in them. And they do have caffeine, which is really important for me. So that when I start my day, I start my day with caffeine just because if not... I'll get a headache because that's what happens when you're a caffeine addict like myself. I don't know if I've ever really talked about this, but my baby does have a dairy and soy allergy. So with her, you know, now that she's entering her toddler phase, she's officially one now, which is crazy to me. Um, I was very emotional about it the other day. I had a moment, but we've accepted it now. I have a one-year-old, so I'm really, really excited for her. And just like seeing her milestones and seeing her grow, it's the most beautiful thing. She has a dairy and soy allergy, and she's always had it. She is primarily formula-fed. Um, ever since we found the formula that worked for her. I did breastfeed for a little bit there. Anyways, um, we have her on the Pure Amino formula, and that's what works for her. She was on Nutrimogen for a little bit, but Nutrimogen does have, I think, 0.5% of soy or something like that, and it was still triggering her um, her soy allergen flare-ups. So we got her on Pure Amino, which is a DHA ARA formula. It is hypoallergenic. It is an amino acid-based formula, and it has worked for her ever since. But this formula, you guys, is $60 a can. $60 to $70, depending on where you buy a can. So it's extremely expensive. And the doctor did tell us that once she turned one, we should search for a plant-based alternative if she is still allergic to dairy. started doing more research. I found this milk. It is a pea protein milk. 8 grams of protein per serving. It has 50 milligrams of omega and choline. It has DHA, which is important. It has prebiotics. And it has amazing reviews. And again, this is a pea protein milk plant-based milk started her on this actually on her birthday on the 27th december 27th we started her on this with a little bit of piramino we've been mixing just to kind of wean her off the piramino because we don't just want to cut her cold turkey like half a can of this left at the time we still had a full can and we want to use it up so i was reading that it's okay to mix them and we did get the okay to do that so we've been mixing it and slowly weaning her off the Pyramino. So she has been drinking this and loving it. She loves it on its own too, but it's been going really, really well. So why I share this is because I don't know who watches me who might be having a baby who has this kind of situation or is dealing with a dairy soy allergy, but I always want to help a friend, especially with my own experiences. So if you're going through this and you're dealing with it and you're trying to wean off your baby or you're going to be weaning your baby off of um 
formula or breast milk and your baby has a dairy or soy allergy this has been the option that we've been going with and it's been working great we looked up all the nutritional facts and everything and everything is so in line and some of them some of the facts are even better than the formula so we're really excited and liking this milk she hasn't had any allergic reactions she's been going great it hasn't been an issue for her so so far so good so then i got this which is for the baby this is the mexican style shreds free from dairy soy gluten lactose nuts preservatives so I always get her these little cheeses because I put them over eggs and stuff in the morning when I give her breakfast. And of course, this is all until she grows out of this allergy. I have to kind of keep in line with the dairy, soy free everything until she's no longer allergic to dairy or soy. I got the baby a new uh, body wash, baby wash, because um, she was out. I have become in the last couple months a Celsius fiend. Um, so I picked up this new flavor, which I've never seen. I've been like trying out all these little different flavors. I have my favorite flavor, but like I'm trying every single one of them slowly just to see like which ones I like the most. The Fuji apple pear flavor. So that's all I got from Target. I get quickly and some of the market basket stuff. Got some grapes because we do the grape countdown tradition where you like write down 12 goals or wishes for that you have for the new year and and you eat a grape for the last 12 minutes of 2023 leading up to the new year so got some grapes strawberries this peanut butter cup delight trail mix a blend of milk chocolate dark chocolate peanut butter cups uh peanut butter flavored drops almonds and cashews just you know whenever i have a little sweet tooth i really didn't do like groceries like that i just went to get some of like the things that i needed oh i said i was going to make a spinach dip so i did get a market basket of cat food a ton of cans of cat food in this bag and i also got this from market basket this is what i used to make my spinach dip so i just needed this that's really all that i needed there that and the grapes for new year's eve and then i got Celsius drinks for the week I got kiwi guava which I like I don't love but I like it and I know Andrew likes it a lot too so I got that one and then my favorite flavor so far undefeated number one is mango passion fruit so top tier I think I'm gonna actually have this because I actually didn't drink the coffee that I got I took like three sips of it I think you guys saw in the car and then I got home and I gave it to Andrew so he could take it with him because he was gonna go to the barbershop so I didn't end up drinking it so I need my caffeine because I still haven't had my caffeine and it's one o'clock in the afternoon so I'm gonna have my Celsius really important always make sure you're rinsing because you never know you never know these things come from the factory and, and I've always heard the rats piss on these things it's just not a good time so I'm gonna rinse the top I'm gonna have my drinky drink the mango passion fruit i love celsius drinks they are energy boosting they're zero sugar let me just give you some of the nutritional facts zero sugar gluten-free kosher certified non-gmo no high fructose corn syrup no artificial colors and seven essential vitamins accelerates metabolism and burns body fat this is actually really similar to the herbalife tea that i have um that's why i like it so much because it's very clean it's just the best this flavor top tier cheers mates I need to get a straw though. Take the towel off of it. Cheers. Okay. I'm just going to organize. Put these things away. Sit down and edit while the baby naps. And then later we will reconvene for New Year's Eve. Guys, so I just got back from the Chinese place maybe like an hour ago. I got home and the minute I got home we all had dinner because we were all super hungry. And this is all that's left over. <laughs> one crab ragoon, one boneless spare rib, and two chicken teriyaki. Literally everything else gone, completely shredded. No, no rice, no egg roll, nothing left over. Which is actually perfect because I tend to always overbuy things. Like I buy a ton of food and I always have a ton of leftovers, but I tried to be smarter about it this year just so I wouldn't waste like so much extra money on leftovers basically. Not only that, but it also just doesn't make sense because it's just us. Um, it's myself. Uh, Drew, um, Audrey, the baby doesn't count because she doesn't eat Chinese food, and my mother-in-law. So really just four people were going to eat. So I was like, let me just get one large everything because I think you guys heard it in the phone call when I called them. They only accept orders of large entrees or poo-poo platters, but I didn't want to do a poo-poo platter because there were a ton of things that the poo-poo platter came with that I didn't want. So I just did one large fried rice, 
one large chicken teriyaki, one large boneless spare ribs, one large egg roll, and one large crab ragu. And we ate through everything, and we just have that leftover, which is perfect because we're going to be going away tomorrow, and we won't be home for like the next couple days, considering we're trying to, you know, start the year off on a clean slate, not eating garbage, making better choices. So I did not want a ton of leftover Chinese food in my fridge because then I was going to feel like I had to eat it because we do not like to waste food around here so now i'm just gonna make some spinach chip it's 7 20 right now it's still early obviously we wait till 12 so i'm gonna make my spinach chip just so we could have that and snack on it like if we decide to like get just just in case we get a little bit hungry later because we did have dinner at 6 30 around there um so yeah let me go ahead and make this dip i was considering making some chocolate chip cookies something else i kind of want to learn for this year is how to make like a really good chocolate chip cookie from scratch i am not a baker if you know me you know this i'm a great cook i will cook anything um i really do very inclined to cook savory food but when you give me something to bake i don't know what to do if it's not something that's made from a box box brownies or a boxed cake funfetti i can do a funfetti but like i cannot bake from scratch i always mess something up and i think it's because baking requires so much extra patience like you have to make sure that the butter is softened and not you know melted in the microwave for certain things or like you have to make sure that your eggs are room temperature like all these little things make such a big difference in baking and how your result comes out and i just don't really have a whole lot of patience for that i just i'm not the most patient baker and but i love chocolate chip cookies like i love a good chewy cookie in the center but like crispy on the outside and i'm like i can learn how to do that so i really want to make it a goal just so that i can learn how to make a cookie and like if i want to get fancy with it add walnuts add m ms like toffee pieces whatever mainly because i like them so much and i know um, my daughter like my daughter loves good cookies too so how cool would it be to just know how to make them you know so i might learn how to do that so i definitely want to learn how to do that this year let me know in the comments down below if you have a really mean good chocolate chip cookie recipe and any tips and tricks because your girl really needs them all right this is the dip here so it's meant to be a hot dip so i'm gonna pop this in the oven at 350 for 30 minutes you look so handsome with your hands get my fortune cookie doing what you love is a freedom loving what you do is happiness honestly goals i've been hearing that hey go tyler go tyler go tyler go tyler give me water though our gorgeous spinach and artichoke dip well we have our tostitos i have salsa in the fridge and we also made some chocolate covered strawberries which I'll bring out as well and these little leftover Chinese food. Too. I think I'm gonna end the vlog here, you guys, because I really wanna spend some time with my family and not worry too much about the camera. I wanna thank you guys so much for watching. If you are somebody who watches my videos, who is a supporter of mine, just know that you are not just a supporter, you are my friend. Thank you for being here. Thank you for supporting my channel. Happy New Year. Bye.